Hi everyone, welcome to 4pay.org, a non-profit based company working for you. Yes, working for you. This is Consumer's Doctor, Dr. Bengalam. First of all, I should thank California Medical Board for taking away my medical license. I love it. I think that's the best thing ever done to me because I'm totally liberated. I can talk about them. The way they have handled my case, I should talk about. I am not afraid of the California Medical Board. What they have done, they have lost a good, decent guy from healthcare. I have done a solo practice and work for the medical group. And you know how these medical groups, how they work? People who are on the med medical group side, on the ma managed care, they complain. They complain a lot because they took, they complained about me rather than insurers. They complained about the healthcare professional for not getting the right care. Well, you know what? I, as a matter of fact, this lady who complained, I should thank her for doing that. Anyway, I'm better off. Okay, let's talk about, forget about this, you know. California Medical Board can, they need to, they need to, <laughs> I don't know. These bureaucrats, you know, they sit on the board, they think that they're doing the right thing. For the consumers, they're not. They're not. They're not serving your best interest, folks. Because some one lady complains, they take away your medical license. You know, we have a shortage of doctors, folks. We have a shortage of doctors, shortage of nurses. And this medical board of California is so stupid to take away. People are retiring, man. People are retiring from this healthcare profession. And this medical board wants to take away the healthcare. Who is, whom are they hurting the most? Consumers. I have practiced for 35 years. They had the audacity to take care of my license. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you for doing that favor. And I should thank a lot of people. But anyway, let, let me talk about people. Are, my passion is to take care of the indigent folks. People on the street. People have no income. Economically impaired. Physically impaired. They have no health insurance. They can't buy health insurance. I want to take care of them, folks. Because... My gratification has been being a doctor. I can't give up on that. California Medical Board can't stop me from what I'm... I'm going to do my best as a doctor, give advice to the consumers. It doesn't matter, you know. You can't make everybody happy, folks. You know, that's what I want you to know that. Coming back to the indigent population, you know, it's a nice thing to get benefits, but the way the benefits are given back to these people, that's what I need to explore. They want to give Medicaid, unemployment benefits, fine. How about healthcare? The way they're doing on healthcare is, is creating a bureaucratic nightmare, folks. I have billed for 40, 50 patients. They send me a check for one cent for Medicaid, so-called Medi-Cal in California. Why bother sending that check? They could have denied it, right? This is the way the government works, folks. This is the way the bureaucrats work. They deny you. How do you make feel? How does it make you feel? I was taking care of the people who are indigent. They want to... They want to discourage you from taking care of the indigent. That's what they're doing. Anyway, Medicaid, so-called Medicare healthcare, Medicaid healthcare needs to be changed, folks. First thing is billing companies needs to be taken off. Billing companies need to be eradicated, man. They don't need a billing company. Give them the Medicaid savings card, a debit card. Let consumers save money by giving them the power to be back to the people. You're giving them the opportunity to save. So whatever you're giving the card, Medicare, Medicaid, let them choose a deductible health insurance, private health insurance policy. Give them a certificate of guaranteed coverage 
and give them that card they can go to any participating insurer get the private insurance deductible low premium high premium it doesn't matter whatever they can afford and save it the power is to save and put money aside into their savings card those dollars can be used only for health care I want everybody to understand you cannot use it for day to day expenses. Once you do that, people are indigent, are handicapped, you name it, they have physical illnesses. You know, if you really look at folks, there are only two to three percent of the population are, are really economically, physically, uh, uh, physically handicapped. You mean to say US government cannot handle instead of creating all this bureaucratic nightmare, why they can they give the savings into the people's pockets? Give them the card, health savings card. They can save money and they can shop for the health. With the technology right there, folks, if, if providers and facilities, healthcare facilities are listening to this, you know, those billing days are numbered. They can go on with the technology, telemedicine, telehealth, robotics, AI, you name it. You pay as you go online through my mobile phone. How about that? No more billing, man. I'm, I, you know, people are declaring bankruptcy. Hey, I should tell you. I should. I'll never stop telling you. I stayed in the hospital 23 hours. 23 hours for my angioplasty, coronary angioplasty. Ten days later, I got a bill. Guess, I got a bill for $227,000, folks. That's what pissed me off. The second thing is when I receive a one cent from Medicaid, it pissed me off. Third thing is they take care of my health care license. That pissed me off. Yeah, yes. I don't like this middle-level agencies not serving the best interests of the people. They're not, they don't have a true interest of serving you, serving you as a nonprofit, as a nonprofit organization, four months organization, I want to follow the Kaiser, Kaiser model. I love the Kaiser. Kaiser is behind times too. Kaiser needs to wake up and it needs to embrace the health savings. So Kaiser, one of these days will change, but I will, I will like the role model of a Kaiser brick and mortar everything is through non-profit and medical staff you can you can have a for-profit sidearm but you're serving the best interests of the people it doesn't matter you need more competition it doesn't matter whatever it is you need more competition more transparency more affordability guys if you like it subscribe share and hit that like button folks i'll continue to talk about it and I'm, I'm not afraid of anyone. I, I am I'm done with this, the, uh, this routine stuff. I am a free liberated man. I'll continue to, I'll continue to talk about the state of the healthcare. Thank you. I love you all. We will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.